Hello everybody, Jamie Young here again. Um, quite the week, quite the week. Um, since the uh, last show, um, and it was with uh, Matt Hall. And everybody seen what we uh, talked about. But um, since then, Justice Ginsburg has passed, which has left a vacancy on the Supreme Court. And um, shortly after it was announced that she passed, McConnell announced that they will be voting on a new Supreme Court justice. And just today, Trump announced his nominee, a gal by the name of Amy, oh, Corey Brown or something, Bennett or whatever. Um, but this is going to be an interesting one because in, as far as I know of, there has never been a Supreme Court justice put forth in an election year, except for in 2016 when Obama put forth Merrick Garland, and the Republicans refused to even talk to him, let alone giving him a hearing. So. And that was because the Republicans said that, you know, the people should decide, you know, after the election. Now they're saying the complete opposite, which does make them into a bunch of hypocrites. Um, we know why Trump wants this appointment, so we're... When he contests the election, he can get brought right to the Supreme Court. There's also a flaw in his thinking on that, because we do not know how all nine justices say this nominee gets approved. We really do not know how the Supreme Court will rule. My guess is that they will probably rule in favor of the people and the Constitution. Because you do have several members on the conservative side, including Justice Roberts, who tend to go with the Constitution in a case like this. So that's yet to be seen. But Trump and his supporters and all this propaganda, well, really disinformation, because propaganda is a little different, but disinformation and conspiracy theories around mail-in ballots. And his chief of staff attacking the FBI director when on the whole thing with mail-in ballots because the FBI director told in a committee hearing recently just this week that there is very there is voter fraud is minuscule in our country and that's because of all the different safeguards that have been put in place by the states which the states have control over the voting of their residents but also all of those that are within the military all of those that are um, stationed overseas or deployed they vote by mail-in they have always done that and they have never had a problem with service members doing mail-in ballots. 
just like those that are, you know, those citizens that are, say, overseas on a vacation or whatever. They can do mail-in ballots, absentee ballots and all that. So what Trump and his people are saying is completely wrong. Um, and he is, him and others are trying to, well, they're filing lawsuits to prevent all of that from happening. So this is going to end up going into the Supreme Court, which does make a lot of people feel anxious about the actual outcome and how the Supreme Court will end up ruling. Um, and that goes into the whole thing of Trump doing the same thing that he did back in 2016 because he said, and I'm not quoting exactly or anything, but basically he said, that you only accept the you know the outcome of the election if he wins. He has the levers of power now. He is trying to make this into an election in which he will come out as the victor, which is corrupting democracy at its core. Um, when it comes to what's currently going on with these different uh, opposing groups, mainly these militia groups, um, there will be continued, unfortunately, violence. Um, there's no way around that. But what these groups do leading up to the election, after the election, and moving forward is very much a question in itself. And that's because there's too many variables that are happening. So, that is where we currently are on that. <sighs> Just thinking here. But, um, a friend of mine recently posted on Facebook that back in 2016 she predicted all of this to be quite honest back in 2016 when Trump was elected there was nothing to predict at all we knew very well and I said this back in 2016 when I was doing some Facebook lives that he is dangerous. He is arrogant. He is narcissistic. He only wants power. He wants absolute power. And that's not what this or that's not what anybody want in this country our leader to be like where they have full control over everything that is a dictatorship plain and simple and we really do need to prevent that from happening. Voting 
is a way of trying to make that not happen. But given everything that has been reported upon, it's very possible that we will not see a peaceful transition of power. And that we will continue to see more violence throughout this country. These are not predictions. I do not make predictions. I never have and I never will. Just look at the facts. Look at the information. Dig into what's out there. This is the only way that the truth and the facts survive. Because once disinformation and conspiracy theories become normal, facts and information become meaningless. That is something that we all need to keep in mind. The facts are important. The information, when it is verified by numerous outlets, is important. Recently, this week, we had two officers shot in Louisville, Kentucky. The first news outlets to report that was Sputnik and RT, which are both Russian-linked government news agencies. I waited a few minutes. Then CNN, Al Jazeera, France 24, MSNBC, and others verified that. This is what I mean by verification of information. Without that, we don't know the truth. We don't have the facts. When you're reading an article, Look at it, scrutinize it. Look at who they talk to and what agency, department, college, university they are from. And continue to investigate and look into it. We have an election coming up. A very, very important election. If you don't have all the information, or you suspect that it may be wrong, check it. Matt Hall did a good show on how to look at these supposed news, news articles that are really advertisements. That is a form of disinformation when you think about it. But all of this, including the pandemic and our economy, has caused a lot of anxiety. Something that nobody has felt at all. 
this much uncertainty. Recent polling has put the majority of Americans, I think it's like 50 some odd percent, feeling insane that we are heading in the wrong direction. Only, I think it's between 35 and 30, 35 and 40 percent say that we're heading in the right direction. The other percentage, they're indifferent. We are headed in the wrong direction. And it's not, this direction is not good for any of us. I know I may sound pessimistic, but facts are, I'm just a realist. Uh, we do have a presidential debate coming up this week. And it will be interesting to see how this goes. I have a feeling that Biden will end up doing good. Trump will be constantly fact-checked on everything. Whether it's done in real time or after the, after the fact. He will be fact-checked. Biden will also be fact-checked, but it won't be, it would be more in, in the way of policies and stuff. Trump would be fact-checked on everything. So, it will be interesting. But also it would be interesting, from my understanding, that there will be no live audience for Trump to beat his chest to, so. But, that is what's going on, folks. And, just remember, The future is never set. We all can change it. For, for better or for worse. And with that, I will leave you and have a very nice day, evening, morning. Take care.